Hey guys, what's going on? McGreen, Dark Corpse. Glad you're finally able to catch, uh, catch a stream as well. So the order of business for this stream is to get some copper up and running because we're pretty much, uh, we're, we're playing out of copper here. <laughs> it's about as dire of a situation as iron was. So, I think. First we need to go clear some bases. I do have a few construction robots. They don't do much though because we have these stupid little solar panels in our armor that don't do crap. Um, but... Hopefully, sometime in the near future, we can get a fusion reactor. Hey, Spy Master. That blooper, how's it going? Hey, Bell Deck. Kane, how's it going? Afflixion. Are these the wind-powered robots? <laughs> I, I don't know. I think we'd be lucky if they were even wind. More like slight breeze powered. Maybe fan powered at best. Everyone's posting twice. Doesn't look good, like it to me. Hey, medic. Just clear these bases around this copper. Stupid robot, man. I hate these. Come on, get your... Nope. Get your crap together. Repair the thing. Thank you. Need to take our robot board out for this. It'd be nice if all the panels were buffed. Yeah, no kidding. These things are, like, worthless. Hey. Maxim, how's it going? I'll be back. I'm just kind of not paying attention. <laughs> I'm just holding space down and driving and hoping I hit something and mow the others down with my bullets. And, um... Thanks for the follow, Max. Appreciate it. time lucky at watching your stream. Hey, Penguin, nice. Yeah, good to have you here last time. Uh, Mr. Air, God, I I had your Twitch page randomly opened, and after playing RimWorld for an hour, your voice scared me, but I'm glad you're streaming on to sleep, but change of plans. <laughs> hey, Air. Sorry I uh, scared you. Um, don't let me change your, uh, your sleep plans, though. Sleep's important. Hey, Dutch, how you doing? Squishy Chew. Hey. What's up? 6.50 a.m. What the hell are you doing up that early? Watching your YouTube series for about two weeks or so. Even watch the whole lot of your stream. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. I hope you're you're enjoying it. Um, open World Addict. Thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Welcome. So we can sleep is optional. Funny thing is, the weekend's like when you're supposed to catch up on sleep, right? Or at least that's a theory. Okay, so that clears that. This copper patch, I think I would actually prefer, maybe? One million. Not even one million. Well, that blows. I thought this was like four million for some reason. I haven't slept yet, just came out of a Factorio event. Oh, nice. Was it the, uh... Neilaus and Catherine of Sky one? That looks pretty interesting. I would have joined if I wasn't out to lunch. Um, yeah, so we're going to secure this copper patch. 6.50 a.m. is not early. It's really early for me. I never get up that early. Like, ever. <laughs> Can't remember the last time... I, well, no. I got up that early a few weeks ago, but... Okay, so pretty much same old uh, strategy here. Just set this up. This one should hopefully not be as much of a pain as the iron one getting attacked constantly. Took ages to get in though. Uh, where they like desync issues and stuff. 
My alarm goes off at 5.30 to get me ready for work. Good lord. 5.30. I used to have to get up at 5.30 to go to school. Um, that was absolute hell. Let me tell ya. So I feel your pain. Uh... Yeah. I am so glad to not be going to school anymore. Um... I sure do enjoy your content. I've started... I've just started playing Factory for about four weeks and have sunken about 160 hours into it. One world. Wow, nice, Max. I'm glad you're uh, enjoying the series and, uh... and the game. 160 hours in one world is pretty impressive. You, uh... must have a pretty good... pretty good base going at that point, huh? During the winter, I never see the sun. <laughs> yep, that makes sense. <laughs> Um, I remember when I used to go to, when I went to school and I had to get up that early, I was driving to school in the dark because, yeah, in the winter, at least, because the sun wasn't up yet. You're a recent finder of Factorio as well. Man, I didn't realize so many people, like, who were watching had just recently found it. I thought most people... Now, I have, like, two stacks of power poles. Some, something seems, seems off here. <laughs> something seems amiss. I cannot tell. I know I can just hold down click, but I gotta be, I gotta be OCD here. Hey, great. I am never gonna pronounce your name. I apologize ahead of time. Uh, Pekaju Kasen, I think. Um, how's it going? Um. Finally launched my first five rockets. Nice, congratulations, Flixian. Uh, Chloricon Wilds, hey, how's it going? And Dark Corpse, thank you for the host as well. Appreciate it, welcome. I knew it for a while, then CGP Gray started streaming it. Nice, Four how, um, 400 hours into a factory and I just launched my first rocket. Sounds reasonable to me. I'm not gonna have enough power poles, am I? Two? Oh man, that's on point. I don't, I don't have any other power poles, so we need to go get some. It had been on my wish list for a while. I think the excitement you and Zuri and we'll have for 15 rubbed off on me. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you uh, you took the plunge. Four train, two six two four that sources. That's about it. <laughs> Tweaking early mistakes you made. Yeah, that's kind of a constant thing, isn't it? I've been playing Factorio... I've been playing Factorio for a while, but I've never played a game start to finish. I always either use Creative... Mod... Um... Or do early game, then ditch the world. But watching you in Gepwin has made me want to do a full world properly. Well, that's awesome. I'm glad. Because going through a full world is, uh... It's certainly... A different experience than just... You know, restarting. I'd say it's it's pretty rewarding when you finally finish. Um, so I have those. I need steel, probably. Yeah. We actually have quite a bit of copper is what we don't have. Okay, so we got steel. Let's make some of these. I'm gonna need some locomotives. Okay, I'm gonna need four cargo wagons and no steel again. Apparently we need a lot more steel than I thought. Won't be around long, but uh, my mom wrangled me into helping her grade computer science exams. Oh nice, that sounds fun. <laughs> Been playing Factorio now for over a year and I launched my first rocket recently. 15 Space Science now makes something you have to do now. Yeah, I really like that they added that. Um, because it does kind of give a better reason to launch rockets, right? Going through a four-world takes discipline to is a grind at times. Yeah, that is true. There we go. Of course, I have to make all these stupid circuits, but... Okay, let's uh, let's make 
some stuff just so I can be prepared to actually go <laughs> go and set things up. Um, boxes, we're going to need a little more iron, I think. Trying to finish my last few achievements, the 20 mil circuits, one is crazy. And any tips for converting from a main bus system to robot-based production? I'm lagging like crazy on belts, producing around 1 million iron plate an hour. Jesus. A million plate an hour on belts? No wonder you're lagging. Um, my, uh, my advice to you, you're not going to like it. <laughs> um, my advice is pretty much... Get the robots stocked up, like use your main bus system to build a ton of robots and everything you need for a robot based system. And like beacons and modules and level 3 assemblers, like build all that up with your current system and then literally just tear down everything you have and rebuild it. Personally, in my experience, I find that easier than um, like trying to convert parts of the factory like piecemeal almost seems more of a pain to me than just tearing the entire thing down and just building an entirely new bot-based system. Um, but it is paramount that you actually build up the parts required to build a bot-based system before you tear everything else down. Otherwise, you're going to be in a, in a bit of a hole. Okay, so... Probably forgot something again. Who knows? I'm going to bring these out. This time I actually do have four belts, which is fantastic. And we're missing a miner here. Miner. It's powerful. It's not a miner. <laughs> uh, okay, so how do we want this? Honestly, it'd be easier if we just put a vertical, or vertical, horizontal station, like, right here. Is that gonna interfere? No. Okay, so we do that, and we build a station. Place him here. So here and here. One, two, three. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have to wall this off too, just to be safe. Oh. It's gonna do that, and then this thing I come over here. And this works like absolutely perfectly. Sweet. Okay, so bring this up. I'm going to make a four lane balancer as usual here. Should be interesting routing these belts because I think I put this in not a good place, but <laughs> we'll see. Um, I'll be back. Luke M, thanks for the follow. Welcome. What would you say are a ton? I have around 10k of each currently in my network. I'm still learning bot based production. Um, 10k is a good starting point, that's probably enough bots. And yeah, as the Noman said, the key to it is learning how to use the bot networks efficiently. How many trains can a ore patch reliably support? Well, it depends on the size of the ore patch. Um, I'm not missing a splitter. Oh, yeah, I am. Sorry. I knew it looked wrong. Oh, damn it. Okay. Does that mean I messed up my other balance? I'll be back. Probably. This thing, man, it always deceives me, like, how big of a contraption this actually is. There we go. Okay. So that comes in. This one. Darn it. All to hell. This whole thing needs to move over. But instead, I'm going to make the wonkiest station you've ever seen. And first, need to make sure that this is actually going to 
line up first. That's always important. Um, copper one. We now have a uh, outpost for pretty much everything. Let's back him up. Tell him to go to copper one, inventory full, and go. Okay, sweet. So that's where he lines up. It was pretty much lined up, but you, it's good to make sure. I know the lines show, I guess. Kind of forgotten about that. Oh, one too many. Um, okay. If you have the patience and your current base might be able to convert into ME. Uh, yeah, so I missed the splitter. Hey, Grey Haunter, how you doing? Yes, I finally got to see this in action. Welcome. And, uh, Afflixion, thanks for the follow as well. Could have moved the bottom two splitters down instead of rebuilding it. Yeah, I could have. Four lane balancers are actually really expensive. Early mid game. Yeah, <laughs> it is actually really expensive. And blue belt. I saw someone mention blue belt. Yeah, blue belt is like insanely. Little blue underground man. Even I was talking to. Um, I was talking to one of the devs the other day, and even he agreed that the blue belt undergrounds are absurdly expensive like way too expensive 80 gear wheels we calculated it out <laughs> we were talking and uh, we calculated out that a blue underground belt is more expensive than a uh, a rocket part just think about that for a second in terms of iron in terms of iron cost a blue underground belt is more expensive than a rocket part. Yeah, first time watching a live stream and following you for a year on YouTube. Hey, uh, Honey FB, welcome. Glad you could stop by. That's uh, quite a while you've been following. I'll be back. Um, blue lightning. DT, thanks for the follow. Welcome. How you doing? Exterminator, happy to be here watching your stream. Just watched your videos on YouTube. Nice. Well, welcome. Everybody, welcome. Glad you guys are uh, finding the stream from the from YouTube. It's Rocket Belt. Why have two engines on either side of the train? Um, because I don't want to build loops. If you only put them on one side, you have to make a loop. And loops are not something I ever am going to do or ever have a desire to do. Stern use a splitter in the center of the six inserters, more even loading. That's is fine for this purpose. Isn't a four lane to four lane just five splitters? Um, yeah, and then two undergrounds. That's still pretty expensive. Okay, um, yeah, we need uh, we need some power, and then we also need to build this rail out. Stupid rock. Okay, so I need some of these dudes. We can just connect power over here. Yeah, we'll actually just run it along the rail. Yeah, but why the underground? Three splitters put into one lane, then two splitters puts it back to four. No, it doesn't work that way. So doubling up the engines does increase speed. Is there a limitation on that speed? It doesn't, well, it kind of, it increases speed, um, but mostly it increases acceleration. There is a max speed, even regardless of how many engines you have. Um, there's a max speed for like certain size of trains, but mostly increases acceleration. Um, why not stack inserted between the boxes and the train set for a fast loading time? I understand for fast for the box. Um, because a, I don't have fast in or stack inserters automated. Two, they're expensive, and three, I don't need that fast of loading right now. Um, once I actually get to a point where I need very high train throughput. 
Um, I will definitely use stack inserters between the boxes and trains, but I simply don't need that now. And investing that cost into this would just be a waste of resources at this point. Especially since I don't have hardly any resources at the moment anyway. So that's kind of my logic behind it. Is there a cap on acceleration? Um, probably, but I don't know what it is. Um, if you have enough engines and you have rocket fuel, you can have pretty quick acceleration. Because um, the fuel value helps as well. So that's all powered. We actually, we actually probably don't have hardly any power. Um, because I haven't been upgrading it. Copper throughput on my first set of green circuit factories were the bane of my first factory. Yeah, man, copper. Okay, we're actually okay on power, surprisingly. 310 miners. That's just below the uh, radars, because everything else is off. Now, if I turn the base on, then we're probably going to have issues. Nice. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna change running on rocket fuel, it's insane. Yeah, man, those rocket fuel trains are terrifying. Hey, Riff Sung, how you doing? Reposo as well. How's it going? It's nice to have you here yesterday. Super curious about it. Maybe trying to find out will finally take me past blue science. Yeah, that'd be a good way to find out. Use almost none of it, then suddenly need a ton. Pretty much, although it's still... Um, you, don't, you still don't need nearly as much as you do iron now. The iron to copper ratio in 15 is insanely unbalanced. So Torn, I'm playing on my own factorial game and watching the stream. Well, you could do both or at least listen to the stream. You say normal undergrads and express actually cheaper than using normal belts if you max the length. You sure about that? Step away 15 minutes, pop dinner in the oven and the stream starts. I did what you did for the blue circuit, it's working perfect. Yeah, that blue circuit thing, I'm super happy with that. Yeah, it is actually probably cheaper. Blue belts in general are just insanely expensive. That's why usually I just go to robots before I even get blue belt, because it just doesn't seem worth it to me. One to I ran into one of my trains mainly driving another 261 and got obliterated. Yep, <laughs> that's always fun. One train will pretty much always get obliterated if they crash head-on at full speed. Hey, Silas. Feel better today and happy that I missed only 20 minutes of the stream. I'm glad you're feeling better, man. Welcome. I'm doing okay. Um, feeling a little weird. I don't know. Maybe something in the lunch didn't quite agree. I don't know. Um, has it made them more expensive than the equivalent regular belt? Uh, I'm not really sure what you mean. I mean, no, they're not. Well, they are. Yeah, underground belts are more expensive than normal belt if you max. Or no. I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> nah, I'm confused. What is planned today? Um, setting up copper. And uh, then I'm not sure. Is there a way... I like the way you use barrels. I keep forgetting we can barrel everything still busting lube and sulfur. <laughs> um, yeah, I like... I just like the barrels better than pipes.
Wow, nice. Repose. So that is um, it's perfect. That I mean, that's exactly pretty much what I have in mind. A little bit different on the fact that you have what looks like a beacon in there, but uh, but yeah, that's what mine's pretty much gonna look like once I actually get enough copper to make it run. So I was yeah. I'm gonna need more rails, I think. Most likely. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring this over. And it's not gonna be pretty. So don't even begin to think that it's going to be at all. I need more stuff. Primarily poison. If you're having a central location for green circuit is better since then you don't have to worry about pro uh, productivity ratios and such. Well, that's if you're using productivity modules. If you're not, then it's probably easier to actually make them locally, but. Uh, so cool. I'm like out of everything. Hey, Ponzatron, how's it going? Just noticed this perfect ratio with one beacon and four productivity inside. Nice. Is this a new rail line, or have you go to the stage of doing one hand drive yet? I have not gone to two rail sets yet. If that's what you mean. Terminator, you really need to pull all these single lines up and start a main rail, at least in the area of your base. This looks like a Reddit base by now. Yeah, but, but here's the key, is it works way better than a Reddit base. <laughs> I don't really care what it looks like. It just works better, and that's what's important. Um, pretty much copper is the last thing I'm doing a single rail of, and then we're going to set up normal rail systems and tear these up, but I can't really do that when I have no copper. So, that's kind of important to get copper first. Doing well. Uh, it's good to hear. I'm okay. Tired. I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling strange. I, I don't know. It may be some reaction to something that was in the lunch I had. Or, uh, I don't know. So we need to clear this entire forest, pretty much. So this, is, this is not going to be enough poison. Ouch. Oh, yeah. Um... Hey, Hani, thank you very much for that. I appreciate the, uh, the support. Thank you very much. Ouch. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Don't kill over on us now. <laughs> Try not to. I seem to be very, um... Seem to be very sensitive to stuff I eat. It's really annoying sometimes. Like, I don't know if it's like preservatives and something or some sort of allergy that I'm not aware of, but sometimes when I eat certain things, whew, man, it uh, does a number. Like, just in terms of, I don't know, I just feel like super out of it and kind of just like foggy and like lightheaded. It's really strange and I'm not sure what causes it. So you know, when you make the train station to Mega Base, do you go straight bots or bot belt? Um, straight bots. No way am I doing, on a Mega Base, I'm not gonna do belts 
absolutely no way. Because I would prefer to keep my game at an actual game and not a slideshow. Feel your pain, they got takeaway that they must have put dairy in and I felt like my stomach was going to pop like alien. Oh god. I'm sorry. That um that happens to me, not with dairy, but sometimes with what some some things I eat. It really does my stomach in too. But right now it's mostly my head. I just like whew. So if I'm like building stuff completely wrong, let me know. <laughs> Cause I'm a little bit out of it. Um so we need some unloads here. Hopefully I left enough room. Should be enough room. Express belt costs 35.5 iron, 20 lube. Express underground are 10 long if you max. Pretty sure they're eight long, not 10 long. Oh, oh, you mean like in counting entrance and exit? Yeah. Costs 257 iron or 40 lube, so you save 55 iron and 160 lube. That is true. X, if your eyes are itchy, chances are it's hay fever. Um, well, no, the thing is, is it is like after I eat. Um, I do have a bit of allergies, but that actually affects my ears. Like the other issue right now is that my ears are really not doing, god damn it, are really not doing good. Like they plug up and sometimes I get dizzy spells and I went to the doctor for it and I've been taking some stuff for it, but part of it is it seems to happen every time that the weather changes and like it just was like really stormy today. So it was, it seemed to be worse. I, I don't know, I don't know. Um, it's kind of weird. So I need inserters. Hey, Saturday nine, how's it going? Play more Factoria, that should help, yeah. Yo. Hey V, how are you doing? Good to have you stop by. Congratulations, man, on your uh, on the one million copies sold. Extremely well deserved. Uh, Raven God, hey, glad I caught this before I went too far. Just saw the first YouTube vid. Heard you say it was going to be a Twitch series. Um, yeah, I mean, not it's not really a Twitch series. I, I mostly do the busy work on on stream. The rest of it is is on uh, YouTube video. So I need some boxes and a belt and splitters and such. More iron would probably be good. Some steel. New tip: Don't forget to pause your game while watching the stream. My entire Iron Outpost just got annihilated. Thought the Warning sounds came from the stream. <laughs> oh god, honey. Uh, that, uh... Oh, that's bad. I I'm sorry. Yeah, make sure to pause your game. <laughs> oh dear. Bu building factory. Can't be doing better. You, uh, your, your crazy secret rail plans going well, V? Any progress on those? Or, or did it just end up a disaster? Sometimes the, uh, secret you know, the, the super grand plans just don't work out how you think. I've experienced that. It seems great in your head until you build it. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it works out even better. Um, or sometimes it just completely fails. I'm hoping that it worked because it, it sounded pretty awesome. Just the general uh, suspense of it. Someone say Reddit base. <laughs> yep. Rail system works so far. I need to get big before I see if it really works properly, so I won't be able to tell any time soon. <laughs> well, no worries. At least it uh, at least it works so far. You know, that's the first step, making sure that it doesn't break right away. I really need a radar up here. We need to go put a radar. I really should have like my entire base in radar. That could have been bad. Um, let me let me see what Squishy Chew posted. Yeah, hey, that's pretty good. It's actually a pretty good looking base. Off of first uh, first glance. What is a Reddit base? Um, a Reddit base is 
uh, kind of a joke um, that a lot of bases posted to Reddit are some of the most inefficient, like, horrible spaghetti you'll ever see. Um, and that's not really an insult. I mean, that's just the fact. <laughs> and uh, they are, uh, I mean, mostly they get up there in Reddit because they're, they're interesting to look at. I mean, you know, I certainly won't deny that. But typically, they're newer players wanting to show off their base, which it's totally fine. Um, but, you know, as a new player, their base is typically just massive inefficiency. So that's usually what we mean by Reddit base. Um, so what did I do here? I, like, combined something and turned and then something. I wonder, can I blueprint this and, and flip it? Turn it? What are the chances this is actually going to work? Take that. Can I do that? I can. Sweet. I can these slash bleeds, yeah. Can't stand sp spaghetti. I have a thing for symmetry. Yep. Spaghetti for life. <laughs> uh, yeah, beast. You, you sure know about spaghetti. Jeez. Um, I don't think I will ever see a base again quite like yours, V. Uh, that falls into more of the just like amazing category than bad category just because of the sheer spaghetti that you've done it's like it's reached a point <laughs> where it where it's just like it's, like it's just fascinating to stare at like I, I could have just walked around that base for hours just seeing how you routed everything oh geez speaking of routing what have i done where are my bots can they place this correctly You will. <laughs> you just don't know it yet. True. Have you seen the new trend down Reddit? The sushi belt bases? Yeah. How goes the construction? Hey, Mr. Clunkers. Um, it goes well. We're, we're making pretty good progress. Yeah, it's fucking mental. Yep, that's, uh... That is possibly even an understatement. Like I, like I said in the, uh... In the video we did of it, I don't think I could build that way even if I tried. If I tried really hard, I don't think I could build like that. Um, okay, so our copper comes in over here. Um, like, over this way would be better. My stone is completely dead, apparently. That might be something we, we would we would want to fix. Uh, let's go get some miner. Oh, dear. What? Oh. Spaghetti is congealing. Uh, the blue science line from my early base is on yellow belts with all iron coming off of bus on just one belt. Oh, I, I guess I didn't look close enough. Understatement. Oh yeah, that's the point. Achieving it is actually really hard. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to build in that manner, really. To, at least to that, at least to that degree. These little power poles are going to drive me insane. Uh, right, so we need to hook stone back up, because I derped. Did player reach get increased? I, I keep noticing once in a while in 15, it seems like I can build stuff from a lot farther away than I used to be able to. Or maybe I'm just going completely crazy. That is entirely possible. Um, the real, what I'm trying to figure out is where the hell do I want to route this? Through here or up there? Through here is actually more of a clear path. Bring it this way. But that's where oil is. I mean, oil... Oil's already kind of scrunched in here. This whole thing just needs to be redesigned, actually moved back a bit so we have more room forward. It's probably something I want to do on an episode, though. It's power poles. Right smack dab. <laughs> where I want to, uh... Where I want to build stuff. Um, now I want pasta. Thanks, chat. <laughs> what 
What does Kate take a screenshot? Good question. Um, the only time I ever built a base like that, base V was on a water world. Oh yeah, water world. Hey, Sir Starlin. How's it going? Have you found a new copper candidate yet? Yep, it's actually almost set up. Um... Crazy for sure. Hey, Can. <laughs> Finally, I was waiting for your uh, cap a bit to come in. Stop blowing up. Oh. Whoops. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that was the last mistake they'll ever make. Where's my tank? Oh, shit. Did I leave my tank over there? Oh, ho. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Where's my tank, man? Did I leave my tank over there? Aw, oh, shoot. Reach has increased very slightly as far as I know. Yeah, it seems like it increased. Monster. Things are getting destroyed. Yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I don't know where my tank is. There's no way they killed it. So it must be over here somewhere. Seriously, where, like, actually, though. Oh, I parked it up here. Sorry, set an alarm. That means I need to go get out food in a second, but the bugs have to die first. That's it. You guys just made the last mistake of your horrible, stupid little cockroach life. Attack. You have a car, you know. The car is, like, worthless. It's more of a death trap on wheels, honestly. And new tip, don't forget to pause your game. <laughs> yeah. Now the alerts are coming from the stream. <laughs> oh, and now they're just chilling. They're just like, all right, we did our job. Yeah, well, you already messed up. You already made your mistake. Where'd you come from? I see. I cannot click anything. See, someone else calls it by cockroach. No flamethrower tank? What is this exterminator? <laughs> hey, Rap Hop. Um, yeah, I don't have any flamer fuel at the moment. You dudes. You're just screwed. I mean, these guys, they messed up big this time. I see more of them down there. See, they think they can hide in the fog of war. Can't hide from me. I'm just going to slaughter them. I returned with poutine. Yuck. So lucky they didn't get the train. Yeah, that would have been... Oof. That would have been bad for both of us. Both of them. Us and them and me. If I can talk. Oh, this is actually a little bit of a... Uh, a dangerous neighborhood they've set up here. Oh, jeez. Looks like I've gained some fans. Oh, dear. Stop it. I know I can run over these bases, but it slows me down, and if I get surrounded right now, I'm actually in a bit of trouble. Oh. Lose them in the trees. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> Alright, bugs. You've done it now. You and your little worm friend is gonna die. Oh, shoot. Back up. Back up. <laughs> Mow him down. Is this expansion or did the bugs tick you off again? Oh, they they uh, they uh really messed up this time, Spy. <laughs> I need uranium ammo. I do. I don't have processing for it yet, though, because we don't have high-tech science. I should probably repair. Oh my god, there's still dudes in the outpost? You need some more bullet damage. I've pretty much researched all the bullet damage I can, I think. 
Well, I have to go replace half the outposts anyway. They can just nom on it until they suffer a horrible death. I mean, I kill the bases pretty damn quick. It's just all the little bugs that are... The, the, the big biters are actually more of an issue than the bases themselves, or even the worms for that matter. Awesome massacre, these worms deserved it. Exactly. They're gonna get completely massacred now. What do you evolution level would be about 90% after all the killing? No, it's at like 65%. Damn, I still need tank on my game. I still don't know what the hell I'm doing on this game. No worries, the tank is uh, very good now. It's uh, actually definitely worth building. And it's not too expensive either. Maybe you should set up the turrets before turning on power next time. Yeah, that would uh, that would be a good decision. Um, that That's certainly something I should do. If I remember. Um, the bugs just a uh, smart exterminator. Use the corpse of their friends and distract them all. <laughs> yep. They uh, they hid in the corpses of their of their brethren. Oh, there goes the power pole. All right, that's fine. It's not like I needed these miners or anything anyway. That was a uh, that was that was expensive. Did they kill my balancer? Most of it, half of it. That's fine. At least they didn't kill the train. It's the really important part. Okay, so what do we need? Need splitters. And part of an underground. This bug's really messed up this time. Oh man, that splitter was like one hit from dead. Holy hell. Um... The train is full of copper. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this train, uh, good thing it didn't die. The bugs are just like us, really. They love pollution, they evolve from it and grow from it. That's why they hate us. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, good night, V. Take care. Thanks for stopping by, man. Have a good one. Missed the belt. That was a nasty attack. A lot of. Look at all that repair work. Got about bots. Oh, shit! Where did these guys come from? Are they literally just like spawning from the dead ones? Is it did they just like up up their technology and like find out how to spawn like larva in their corpses that's like hatches in like two minutes? Holy shit. That was uh that was a bit of a surprise. Why don't you use bots more when you're on modular armor? Um, here's why I don't use bots more. Because we have these shitty little solar panels that don't do a damn thing. <laughs> and I can't research a fusion reactor yet. So these solar panels and the batteries last for about two robot trips and then it's done. So that's why I don't use robots yet. Because it pretty much does nothing. I'm going to get this train out of here. Call this copper, oh, not kipper, copper, un, 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 load, one. You, copper, coal, copper, unload, inventory empty, go. I have to come back and replace this stuff. Put turrets down, yeah, I know, I'll be back in just a second, though. Have you revealed all the map where your pollution reaches? Probably not. No, it's way down there. That's where they're coming from. 
You don't need powerful robots to spy on the bots. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, 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 yep, guys, I know, it's not working. I need materials, I have no iron. I just use four row ports and pick up the bot mainly when they're coming back or recharging. That's a good point. Should I just should I guess I should do that. Okay, so we need liners. And I need some belt and then we'll head back. Most recent patch my base I've been building out has been getting about four times better. Mob attacks have also had some weird bite response inside the base. Oh dear. It's never a good thing. I just say, okay, left time to attack. Yep, pretty much. Don't even build bullets over. Yeah, that was kind of, I didn't, I kind of forgot about that trick. Problem is, I have to keep taking the bots out anyway. Or the Roboport, rather. I have to keep taking out the Roboport because... What the fuck? Um, because, uh... You don't want your bots out in combat. Turret's ammo. Oh, I have tons of turret. I don't have that much ammo. I guess I could pick some of that up. I think we're getting copper going because um did the train go and leave already oh it, it did empty okay um good thing we're getting copper because i just told took a ton of ammo modular armor is only good for night vision and exo yep So anyway, 15.15 all the biters that should have spawned before get spawned all at once because there was a bug. Oh yeah, and I did upgrade to 15.16, so that may be part of the issue. Did you pick up bots? I mean, I, ha I have bots, yeah. Make an extra one because I don't like seven. Try sleeping going to have to rebuild them or my green circuit factory will shut down. Oh no! Yes, I have bots. Not many, because I don't have any frames automated. Hey, construct 100 machines using robots. Sweet. Uh, looks like we need a few more things over here. Sweet. Okay, so that takes care of that. Do that. I need some more wall, but it's okay for now. Uh, okay, so really we need to wall in like this side and this bottom part. Another update. <laughs> yeah, these, these devs are throwing out updates like crazy. And here they are. You idiots. Get wrecked. Got four updates in 24 hours, jeez. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I have night vision, why is this? Oh yeah, because we have no power. <laughs> I hate these, these solar panels are like the most worthless thing, man. Like, they're more worthless, probably, than the laser defense ever was, I think. I mean, you need, like, 20 of them to even do anything. Is it not possible to sub to you? Unfortunately not. I am not partnered yet. I will be applying again soon. Um... Dark Corpse, if you'd like, though, you can uh, support me on Patreon. It is pretty much equivalent to a sub. 
and um, you also get better um, rewards, I guess. Probably. Uh, my Patreon is linked down below. And also, I probably missed some follows. Um, no, actually not. I'm just used to missing all that stuff. Okay, so I need some more walls and stuff. That's fine. I'm going to ride back in the uh, train. Finish the unloading. One shitty personal report is still a lifesaver when building T-junctions. That is true. I was playing Factory waiting for a show. Hey, Texan. Damn, I'm sorry you missed part of it. Nothing too exciting happened except me getting attacked over and over. Need a coal burner power plant for early game suit. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a balancer. I don't know, for some reason. <laughs> like I said, I'm really out of it, alright? Um, I'm really not thinking straight. Alright. Nope, nope, nope. Do that. So, just tie these guys in here. Like so. Certainly not the best looking thing in the world, but that's okay. Whew, thought we were going to be out of belt there for a second. So now, we'll bring this up, somehow bring it under, I really have no idea. And uh, tie it in. We're okay on ore for now, we actually need more smelting, but... Um, okay. Uh, Thanks a lot for the smokeless mod. Yeah, can't smoke this mod. That's pretty awesome. Why can't anything I build look as good as the stuff you build? <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. Man. I'll be back. Like, because, pretty much, I <laughs> the honest answer, because I just have a ton of practice. Like, I have done... I have placed belts in so many configurations and probably thousands upon thousands of times and built builds hundreds of thousands of times that it's just practice it just comes with tons and tons of play essentially so you'll definitely get there what did he build i'm new to the game four line to four line he called it bouncer i think Balancer, you mean? Your next turn feels most of his is spaghetti builds. Yeah, that's true. Um, Cover as well. Thank you for the follow. I build things differently each time. That's kind of what I'm trying to do here, actually, is I'm trying to build a bit differently than I have in the past. Um, I think I want to move this miner a little bit, because it's kind of in the way. If I do this, it'll still cover it. Um, belt balance bouncers keep the riffraff off the belts, yeah. So, f so Factoid devs should build a rail bouncer to keep Exterm from being splattered. That would be great, actually. Do a little bit of cleanup work here. Take advantage of the full underground link. There we go. Thanks. 
Thank you, game. I feel like we have quite a bit of belt on this map, but I'm still really good on game performance. Not even one millisecond game update. Is there a rail line for every train? Yep. Just don't look at it. Close your eyes. Call it the extreme rail bouncer specifically to move his character off a track. Oh shit, it's now raining very hard outside. Which means A, power cut, or B, the internet is going down. Alright, Starlin. Hope hope everything's okay with the rain. Uh, take care. Look at all that copper. I know, it's beautiful. I really want this game an automated way to hook up carts and unhook them. That would be pretty nice. Yeah, welcome to Exterm's solution for safe train travel. One line for every outpost with as much room between them as possible. Pretty much. The Exterm likes to make dedicated trains. Scotland Island sucks for internet. Well, we certainly don't need four lines yet. I need to build the smelters is actually what I need. In fact, I'm not going to even do anything with those lines until we build the smelters. I could turn on some research, though. Let's, uh, can I get, like, more, um... Bot speed or something? I can. When you're going for real train systems, um, pretty much the next train I have to build, we're gonna make, turn everything to real systems. I just needed iron, copper, coal, well, pretty much every resource. Um, Why am I making these? Stop it. No, nope. I need steel furnaces. And normal inserters. Sure, at which point do you believe it's necessary to go from one line rails from outpost to a central four lane hub in the base? Uh, probably after just a couple trains. Like, at the point I'm at, I definitely need to go to an actual correct rail system. Exterminate. <laughs> oh, man, penguin. <laughs> or even to upgrade to two rails and four rails. Um, well, two rails, one in each direction, will actually last you for quite a while. Um... Taking my bots out because I don't want them building everything on my entire walk over to get materials. Hey, Disco Geek, what's up? I actually needed to make steel furnaces, is what I needed to do. Not really sure what I was going to get. Oh, inserters. Terminator, when do you make your plan combinator tutorial? Are you joking, Silas? Cause, <laughs> uh, never. How do you defend your base? Um, it, it's called, uh, progressive defense tactics. Um, essentially what I do is uh, I just kill everything and then there's nothing to attack me. Seems to be working okay, except for the outposts. Um, what's I doing over here? Not sure. I need a lot of steel. Uh, 
Uh, but so I built this, and I want your opinion if I should balance everything at the bottom. Probably. I mean, the smelters look inherently balanced, so you wouldn't have to. All right, see you later, Penguin. Have a good night. Just got super frustrated trying to figure out rail signals. Of course, I turned off the game and turned on stream of people playing the game that frustrated me all day. Um, well, I'm probably, to be honest with you, I'm probably not the person to be learning rail signals from. Didn't you mention on Discord that you plan a comedy or tutorial? It might be possible that it was a tutorial about oil cracking network things. Uh, I don't recall mentioning that. I think I mentioned that I got a combinator tutorial from somebody that I was being taught combinators. Maybe that's what you mean? Thank God no rail signals. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. I need furnaces. So I need brick. Okay. So what we're gonna do is, um... Oh dear. I guess I'm using small power poles just to keep it all consistent. Still do some underground belt trickery on the copper smelters. Oh yeah, I should do that. Hey Silver, how's it going? Um, I'm doing okay. I'm like really starting to lose it <laughs> I don't know what the deal is I'm not I'm not feeling great um yeah if if these would ever like not take 10 years to make Okay, so we'll hook up these. I mean, really, I should just set up all four copper smelters while I'm at it, since we're going to need four lines, and I already have the four copper lines coming in. Um, this is just, like, worthless. I don't want any of this right now. It's just in my way. Because these, um, these steel ones will fill an entire yellow belt. Yes, I know I could use robots, but... Well, I suppose, yeah. Let's use some robots. A rainy day, that it is. All right, robots, come on, do your job. Yeah, I took them out because they were going to go build all the, um, whatchamacallit doobies, all the stone furnaces, which I don't want. Uh, okay, so... There we 
go. So now we can tie a copper line into this. And I do need to do the underground trick as well, now that I actually have some undergrounds made. Come on. Okay, so let's take our undergrounds. See if these last three are enough. Hopefully. Alright, takes care of that. Still feeling some weight defense. Uh, I'm not sure, Silver. I'll have to see how I'll have to see how I feel, man. I expected to do wave defense and went into the stream feeling a little bit strange, but pretty much up for it. And now, <laughs> as things go on, I'm feeling weirder and weirder. Um, definitely, I think something I had for lunch. Uh, okay, so. Uh, copper. So this copper line is kind of, eh. But, so we'll, I guess we'll just tie one of the ones from the train in here. Because I want this to still mine out. Speaking of which, I have to do some power here soon. Kind of surprised my base didn't actually <laughs> run out of power when I turned on research. Um... 4 p.m. in Colorado, correct. I'm hoping to watch Exterminator derp up something basic first. <laughs> At the end, what did you eat for lunch? Um, I had Mexican food. It was somewhere I'd never eaten before. And I had kind of questioned while I was eating it. You gotta be kidding me. Um, whether it was gonna agree with me or not. So, turns out not so much. Your copper for lunch, maybe that's why you're not feeling good. <laughs> no need to run yourself down for a stream. Well, I want to at least get these copper smelters done, because this is something that does need to get done, and it's been bugging me for a while to not have these done. After that, I'll see how I feel. I think I'm also like. God damn it. Um, I think I'm also like way. Whoop, way behind on my uh, on my sleep. Is probably the other problem. Oh, up. Oh, oh. Okay. So close. So we'll tie that line in. Um, I really need some steel. Thank you. That was nowhere near what I wanted. There we go. That's more like it. Did you go to Casa Bonita? Um, no. Why is it like known for not being good? <laughs> How many tokens do you have now? Three? Um, two, three, three. Aha, three. Yes. When building a bot base, how do you do the transition from belts to bots like early game to end, just rebuild the whole thing? Yeah, pretty much. When I realize I need bots, um, I build up the stuff I need for a bot base first, and then I tear down the old base and just go fully bots, pretty much. I find it's almost more of a pain to like try to transition it and do it piecemeal. I think I need more brick.
Okay, so that's working-ish. Copper is not really getting to the end of this. I'm not sure what the deal is. Um, uh, Bockwurst. Hi there, I'm building like a medium-sized base and are stuck with a problem with oil processing. What do you do when you have too much petroleum but not heavy for lubricant? Uh, I spin the petroleum. So, either make tons of plastic, or tons of batteries, or mine a ton of, of uh, uranium. You could barrel up the petroleum. That's another option. That's a lot better than putting it in a tank. That's for sure. Um... Who needs sleep? Such a waste of precious time. Yeah, well, the problem is without sleep, you don't. I don't function. So it then impacts <laughs> everything else. It's almost like, you know, it's like if I spend more time doing stuff and not sleeping, it's actually counterproductive because when I don't get enough sleep, I'm like, I don't function, so then the time that I do spend doing stuff is like extremely inefficient time spent because <laughs> I either do it wrong like three times in a row or um, I'm just really really slow at doing whatever I'm trying to do uh, okay so inserters are up top you're required to buy the food but it's a really bad idea to eat it no do oh dear would you like to be full-time stream and YouTube creator? Um, yes, I very much would. And I, I am on the path to that. Um, but yes, that, that is my goal and my dream here, I suppose. Aren't bots inefficient compared to belts? Um, completely the opposite, Texan, believe it or not. All right, see you later, McGreen. Take care. I turned excess petroleum into solid fuel. Oh, that is that is painful to hear, Max. Hey, Will. How you doing, man? Are you feeling uh you feeling better? I hope uh I hope nothing's broken. Exterminator, do all four inserts prepare furnaces at once since they all face the same direction. Oh yeah, that, that's that's true. Uh. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I would like to be able to do this full time. Um, very much so. Gotta be kidding me. What am I out of now? Man, this is like a constant struggle. That's, that's a little excessive. Um, Surtis, right. So kind of like this silver. Yeah, this is what I mean. Normally I would do this. I am like literally just not... My brain is running like... Maybe 50% now. <laughs> if that. Did I even finish this side? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um... I ache. I feel... I fear my arm is... Oh no, I mean, although I think you, I mean, you would probably really notice if it's broken though, wouldn't you? Like if your arm was actually like broken, don't, don't you think you'd be in enough pain to really know that? I really hope it's not. Go on a square, oh. Too many rollovers and spin times finally catch up to you. Coffee works magic for me in those situations. Um, yeah, not really for me. It doesn't at all. It won't go straight at the elbow. Meaning, like, it actually won't, will, or it just hurts too much when you do it. Because you could have just sprained it or something, and I mean, that is really painful by itself.
Um, so, if you don't mind me asking, dude, what happened? Did you just, like, I mean, I know you fell off your bike, but, I mean, did someone, like, hit you? Or... Finally hit 500 logistics robots after 37 hours on the spot playthrough. Need to get more oil spots. Yes, always more oil. Hence my addiction to coffee. Could, yeah, it could be a hairline fracture. Um, yeah, honestly, I would go to the hospital to be safe. Yeah, an x-ray. I'm not really sure what my plan was here. <laughs> Man, though, I'm really sorry to hear that, Will. That having accidents, you know, whether it be on a bike or on foot or in a car or whatever, is, um, it's never fun. You're going in the morning. morning. Okay. That's good to hear. I'm, I'm glad. Exterior... Mineo, did you fix the loop in your processing unit sulfur input? I didn't know I had a loop. What? I'm trying to think what to do. I need to, uh, I need to rearrange some of these lines. Built a pipe loop. Oh yeah, I did. Now that I think about it. Oh well. I can go fix that. Shouldn't be too difficult. Hopefully. Maybe. Actually, probably it will be difficult. Because that's really the only way to run the pipes. Well, no, I can just take the, uh, take the connection from the middle and get rid of it. That's probably the easiest solution. Because this thing needs to run down here. And let me go stick this in all these furnaces. Um... Yep, I have a loop. Oh dear. Yeah, I can just cut the center pipe too. I could cut the right pipe. Um, I'd rather actually cut the center pipe, honestly. Uh, okay, so this one... Yeah, some of this stuff, where, because this is the top smelter, right? The top copper one? Yeah. So this actually needs to be the far left line uh, from the balancer. I think I brought that too far. Okay, so there's that one. This would actually go here, so let's cut that off. And this looks like a mess, don't worry. <laughs> It'll be fixed, I promise. Uh, and then this one goes to that third one, and then the last one will just tie in here and just kind of let it, let this mine out and the other one take any slack until it does. Why is there a Twitch logo on that one chest? Um, that is a 
Um, that is a Twitch token. Um, it's what I'm doing with this series. Every some thousand research exterminator gets a token for each Twitch follower and YouTube and patron and then I'm launching them into space as a way to kind of honor all my all the people who supported me hence the sending supporters to space name um, and uh, and yes I I don't know why I'm doing this that's what I'm talking about guys I am not thinking straight at all It's like one of my factories. Yeah, I don't need those anyway, but I didn't want to run that there anyway either, so <laughs> I'll just do both. Or run it a different way and get rid of the poles. So glad I'm not the only one who understands who underground felt like. <laughs> yeah. Um. Is this? Well, I would like a redundant connection, so I'm going to keep some of this. Um, but yeah, I didn't need to run that line there anyways. In fact, I could just do this. Okay, so let's see. We can tear up Quite a few of these miners. A lot of these miners, actually. Okay, so all these are tied in, and uh, I need to do the underground trick on a couple of them still. It looked like just doing it on those last ones did work. So that's good. Um, and then this one will just do the same. And he needs coal, which is fine. Might help if I was actually in range. Um, better too far or not far enough. Yeah. Uh. Yep, bottom small has no coal. Got that. Exterior merge the copper in after the miners, otherwise they'll never mine out. Hmm. That's a good point. I guess I'll just sideload it for now. Because if I put a splitter, it's just going to do the same thing as when I had it up front. But uh, So there's that, and then we just need to tie these into the actual bus. Why do you underground the outputs? Um, because it, it allows full compression. It's a weird thing with how inserters work. Inserters can't actually achieve full compression on a belt, um, on a normal belt. So you have to underground the end of it. You can underground the whole thing if you want, but just the end will allow you to actually have a fully compressed belt. Uh, so, let's see. I need more belt anyway, so I'll run up here and then we'll kind of just do this backwards, I suppose. The splitter is what you want. If I put a splitter it afterwards, it's going to pretty much do the same thing. You send supporters to space mod, get updated if you get new follower patron, or is it just people who joined before you made the first episode? Uh, no, it gets updated. I update it. Not like, not like instantly, but yeah, I do keep it updated. Um, okay, so... If it goes viral, this series will never end. Well, if the consequence of this series never ending is, or if, rather, if me going viral has a consequence of the series never ending, that is perfectly fine with me. 
Um. Yeah. Where did this even go? Is that for circuits? Yeah, okay. And then this, unfortunately, I can't underground this because of the way it's... Well, actually, no. I'm going to do a correct split anyways. So what we need to do... Thank you. We need to take our blueprint book, and we need to go like... Like this. There we go. Need some more splitters, some more underground, some more iron would be great. So here. Not there. What am I doing? I could have sworn that light. No, that is what I want. That's copper. Jeez. <laughs> oh man, this is uh this this is this is not going good. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Okay, so here, here, and then grab these like that. Tie him in. So there's our split off for that. These guys will come over here. But now I can actually tie in these other four lines. There we go, and this should get our resources flowing very nicely. When Extreme is doing infinite research, he should be able to produce tokens faster than people join, or he's a millionaire. <laughs> um, yeah, either way. Well, more like what it's going to be is I'm going to be producing tokens way faster than I can actually launch the rockets. Um, although that's not true, because the research in rockets now with the rocket science actually tie directly into each other, right? So if I'm producing say 2,000 science packs a minute, then that means I'm launching two rockets a minute. Um, which means that I'm actually launching rockets faster than I'm getting tokens. Oh wait, no I'm not. No, 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 no I'm not. Never mind. Uh, cause... I'm not actually sure. I can't think straight enough to figure that out. And I did this in the wrong one. Um... Term train deaths will be a vile or video mix. Uh, okay, let's tear this up. Uh, exterminator, think 70 nukes is enough for a quick stroll outside my base? Oh, yeah, totally. Maybe. You're off. Yeah, I'm off. In more ways than one. All right. Let's uh, tie this in. And finally, we have a, cur a full four-lane bus. The I mentioned this in the last episode. It's interesting. I really don't need... Like, I, I'm really surprised we actually made it this far. Um, with a... Um, with just one lane of copper. But we did. I have so much copper. So we're going to need some sort of double thing and then loop under again. Or some madness. So like, I do this, oh, wrong direction. Okay, so tear that up. Tear that up, our inventory is almost full of copper. So I'm gonna do that, except instead of doing that, I'm going to go under. Like so, and then he will just come over this way. Yeah, this thing, this is a beast, man. This, uh, this split off is pretty ridiculous. God damn it. So many splitters. Just use one off and add another in the center. Well, no, this works. There we go. This should add some, uh, 
little bit of performance heaviness, I think. All right, split off my verticals, or not split off, underground the verticals, not the, um, not the bus. Luckily, we don't have many copper split off, so this is a lot easier than the iron. And I'm out of belt. Um, if you're going for 2k science pack a minute, you should set the token cost to 12k, 6k is for 1k science pack a minute. Yeah, I will have to set those, can. I can do that later. Um, because I'm, I'm nowhere near launching rockets yet. Uh, but yeah, you're right. That way it can match. Got a whole chest full of U-238 just from processing ore without Covrex process. Damn. How much ore have you processed, man? That's insane. You can still just use 6k and launch tokens twice as fast? Well, not really. The tokens will build up. Like, I'll be getting tokens faster than I can launch them. I think. Right? This still doesn't make sense in my head. Probably missing something, but I've been following you extreme on YouTube here since the end of 15. Sim map and the only train death I've seen was the one when he died on Will's creative mode stream. Uh, well, you must not have watched the 15 sim then completely because I died like 10 times just in that playthrough alone. <laughs> uh, and then I died a lot, quite a bit in um, SpaceX, quite a bit on Earth, like probably another six or seven times on the Earth map. What a mess. Um, please use bots for this. It's faster for me to just do it. Oh, well, not the, not the split-offs, you're right. I should use bots for the split-offs. Um, your bus will be so craygasm once you're done, yeah. It depends on how many different packs you need for science, right? That is true. Only player series will was absolutely hilarious between all of them combined. Yeah, the 15 sim map is probably my favorite factory like I've ever we've I've ever been part of building even out of all my own it um so this is probably a good candidate for a double split it's the wrong thing um yeah it's um yeah the 15 sim map was definitely one of my favorite I absolutely love that map That's the key right there, even happening creating mode. Yep. Uh, might help if I actually had some splitters and undergrounds and stuff, you know? It does make building these split offs easier, that's for sure. Come on, bots. Okay, so then this one, instead of going that way. Shit. Well, no, this works. I can just reroute it. So this would come up here. This one would turn this way. Doesn't it need a splitter? It's meh. <laughs> In fact, let's do that. That's a little bit cleaner, I think. So there's that, and then this guy needs to underground properly. Underground like that. Clear this. Pull this back because we'll need some other sort of split. And this is actually where it ends, so that's cool. 15 Sim series was one of my favorite by far. I'm glad I could make it happen. Yeah, Can, thanks. I mean, that series is pretty much entirely thanks to Can's mods. Uh, not only the ability for the 015 sim part, but actually being able to continue it as long as we did due to his sleep miners mod because we were 
Um, we were just about ready to call it quits because of the poor per uh, performance issues. Um, but thanks to his mod, it allowed us to continue. That's going to be a bit of an issue. All right, no, it's not. Never mind. I do want to tear this up, though. Thanks, game. Been watching them since. Yeah, that, man, that map was so epic. When's Wave Outpost Copper Defense? Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to Wave Defense today. You aren't even going to need to make a Belt Splitter Underground build now that your bus is almost done. Yeah, pretty much. Extremely miss an Iron Belt. South of Copper. Oh, thank you. Man, you guys are so observant. So then, this thing will underground. If I had an underground, this way. See, that's the thing. If you put off something long enough, you don't even need it. Like my uh, splitter <laughs> uh, belt build and stuff. Now I don't even need it because I just put it off so for so long. I mean, really, like, unless you're just... Is that the thing? Is I already have belts automated over here and in a box, and the splitters and undergrounds, if you have iron gears and circuits in your inventory, you, uh, you make them really fast. Like, you... It's really not that big of an issue to hand make them, unless you need them in insane mass. Um thing is by tearing up all these belts I'm actually getting more resources from this <laughs> than I'm spending potentially uh, okay so do that I feel like I'm painting so that takes care of that I know there's no well we will need this farther down so that's why I'm running it I am almost out of belt though so let's go grab some more your iron going south and the bus isn't connected. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just connected it, didn't I? I don't know what you're doing, bot. Oh, that. <laughs> That's what you're doing. I'll let him build it. Just blueprint the s splitters without a preset direction. Yeah, I could. I'll already make first before anything else, and now with nukes, I don't even decon it when I no longer need it. <laughs> Shut up, game. Here, have your copper. Oh, now I just don't have any copper. Great. <laughs> Alrighty then. Jumpy bots. Yeah. I'm gonna run the belt down so that we're prepared for um, high-tech science. I don't know what this is. Steel, I guess. This is like just a complete mess. I mean, they're all proper and stuff. It just, there's so many of them there, it's crazy. That would've been bad, come on. <laughs> I fix one and then I just do it wrong right afterwards, okay. Tear these up. Like that. Like that. And there we go. Match it up lengthwise with the iron. And boom, there we go. Our bus is now ready to go. Four lines iron, four line copper, and steel. And we're still on yellow bell. I'm not even sure if I'm going to go to red bell, honestly. Like, we're knocking out science pretty good. I feel like with four full yellow belt to this stuff well no like once I get into making modules and stuff I'll probably need to although I might just go bot builds for that <laughs> I don't know I'll see I know I promised belts for a while but take your bots out more trouble than they're worth yeah exactly but everyone was yelling at me to use bots and this is a perfect example of why I don't like to use bots right now 
I'm sure why I have two lanes of steel, that's too hard to feed. I don't know, just in case. It's not hurting anything to have the lane there, really. Jump right to blue. Yeah, right. She used both sides. Yeah, I do need to mirror that uh, smelting build. Um, yeah, I could actually go blueprint that. Should actually have it blueprinted. Is that it? I put the blueprint somewhere. Maybe I got rid of it. Must have gotten rid of it. It's okay. Um, these all should be steel furnaces too. Gonna be just enough. Steel smelts get crazy large in late game. Yeah, that's why I pretty much like to switch to modules and beacon builds because it prevents it from getting just unreasonably huge. Um, okay, so now if I blueprint and flip this, I don't think it's actually gonna work, unfortunately. This is why I don't like starting off with the one furnace. Because you can't do this then. I'll be back. It's really frustrating. Well, I can do this actually. I can just move them. Um, Red Prusian, thanks for the follow. The copper split off to green circuit is blocked by one piece of underground. So if I do... Oh, and I need to rotate the center belt. Yeah, that's a bit of a pain. Not actually that hard, though. In the bottom one with one furnace. Well, I'm not sure if that's where it's actually ending. Um... My copper to green circuits doesn't look blocked to me. I'll be back. It's totally fine to me. You mean here? Now that looks fine too. Um, Miner Man, thanks for the follow. Or make two blueprints, one for each row. It's red circuits. Now that looks pretty good to me too. Kind of. Never mind. Wow, really good catch. I don't know how you guys spot this. <laughs> should add a flipper mod, four min beat KPM. Yeah, I should add a flipper mod. I really should. For now though, um, we'll just do this. Because it's really not actually as difficult as I thought it would be. So what we can do is we put that down. I build some of these and then I just run them correct direction and then I take the smelters off the end move them to the front and we'll be pretty much good to go so there we go there's that um, of course I don't have near enough steel furnaces for this but Do I have two at least? So then we do this. Oh, screw you. This and that. Take our underground. Never mind. Oh, this one's kind of wonky, huh? actually fix this one well now that's kind of where this this, this is reversed this is kind of strange the way I'm doing this okay um, 
They really need flipping in game for entities that don't flip correctly. Just beep and print in a nice air message. Yeah, they really do need flipping in vanilla. That's a lot of steel. Not sure I. Not sure I really needed that much. Go dump some of this copper ore off, though. Get some stone brick. Oh, I have some. Oh, let's get some more. Um, second last underground for coal is the wrong way. For where? Second to last. If what I am, my eyes are hanging out of my head. It's time for some sleep. All right, see you later, Squishy Chew. Have a good sleep. Second to last is the wrong way. Not really sure what you're talking about. For steel. Looks fine to me. Hey, Seam of Love, how's it going? This is, it's the same way as this one. Really don't know what you're talking about, guys. Third from right. Oh. You said like second to last one. There we go. Let's put in our power poles first because then we can just walk and hold down the button for placing the furnaces. Oh. Fail. Damn it, all to hell. What the hell, man? Shit. It's entirely wrong. I think it works though, don't it? Whatever. <laughs> I don't have time to mess with it. everything all right um kind of feeling really strange time for it, it works but looks wrong games auto iron can be wonky sometimes yeah well i might move them uh okay so here Couple normal inserters, certainly not as many as I need. Do have some long-handed though, so I can set these up. There we go. So we'll have to mess around with our iron ore lines to figure out what we want to do with those. Right on point. Uh, how many steel furnaces are needed to saturate a yellow belt? I don't remember. Um. I really don't remember. I want to say like 48, 50. Hundred and seventeen total. Which is like 58, 59. 
per side or something for steel furnaces. Twenty four says a cheat sheet. No, it's definitely not twenty four. Or do you mean for normal ore? Then yeah, it is twenty four. Or no, it's not. What? Uh, hey, Asap, exterminate. Have you heard of Blue Build? Blue Build rewritten. It lets you build blueprints without bots as long as you are in range and have the items in your inventory. Um, I have not heard of it. It sounds too cheaty to me. Uh, okay, so need to place normal inserters here. We should be good to go. Oh. So close. <laughs> So that does that. Now we just need to send coal up. Split it off. And then iron. I could send this up. The real question is, is this going to be enough to support? And I think it will, maybe. I understand the new blueprint system, the partial move of right click from the GUI isn't helping. Uh, Sparkle, if you open it, there's a delete button, a destroy blueprint button. Top lane one inserter missing. Good call. Actually, multiple inserters of different types. Um, okay, so like that, and there we go. I'm not sure if this is going to be enough ore. We'll have to see. Kind of guessing not. You can't delete it till you make it into something. Is that the case? Oh. Hmm. That is true. That is kind of dumb, huh? Yep, gotta do this. Uh, that is actually pretty dumb. So, this is definitely not enough ore. Uh, okay, well. I don't think we need all this for this. So, what I'm gonna do is I don't know actually because this is a setup for three lanes this uh, this balancer so I remove one then I essentially need like a two to four lane balancer which is probably actually really simple Time to go red belt. Well, but... Yeah, I suppose I could. I could just make a ton of red belt for this particular belt. But that won't really work because of this. You want a non-throughput limited balancer for eight lanes? I don't have eight lanes. I'm confused.
I see a 2 to 3. A 2 to 4 is actually really simple because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, we probably only need... I don't think two lanes is enough, though. I mean, really, this is probably enough for right now, but... If four lanes, I want six lanes out, right? Use an eight-lane balancer. Sure. We have to put on the other side of the train for steel and or more iron. And put four to six lane balancer off the train. Yeah, I suppose then a four to eight if, if a four to six won't work. Oh, geez, but that's one, two, three, four, five, six. There is actually a four to eight or a four to six balancer. It doesn't look that complicated. Two, four, six, seven. Two, four, six, eight. Actually, a four to eight looks simpler. So I guess that would be good, huh? As far as I know, some oil ratios have changed. As well as steam power and red circuits, but everything else is still on point. Yep. Let's go red belt offloader for the train. Yeah, I'm not going to make like 300 red belt right now. <laughs> yes, I made it to a stream. Welcome, Sonic. Um, uh, I guess I'll just do a four to something, four to eight. Four to six looks like a paid in comparison. I could actually build it over here. My inventory is going to fill up. Use these trash slots for something. Okay. Wow. Nightbot does not like you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stupid Nightbot. Alright. So what we do is we take these and we go here. Here. So it's essentially just a 4 to 4 balancer. But different. Is this really a, is this really a correct... Four to eight. It doesn't look like a correct four to eight to me, but Yeah, that's definitely not throughput unlimited. I don't think. Why not treat it like a main bus split off your ore? Um, that's a good point. Why do you do this? You can never get more than four belts off the train. Well, I'm not trying to get... I'm just trying to take the four that I do get and split them evenly. Still only support max four belts. Yes, I do... Yeah, yeah, guys, I don't think you're understanding what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make 
six balanced belts from four. I'm not trying to get six full belts from four. I'm just trying to get six balanced belts from four. Okay, there we go. So that does that. That sends it there. It looks weird, but whatever. Um, so we have that. We can probably start some research. Uh, lab efficiency, 500 of each. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, ba -ba -da, lasers. Not really sure what I want to do. Combat robotics would not be a bad idea. I built a perfect 6 to 2 balancer today. Nice. I think that balance is going to work right. Yeah, I don't think so either. But I don't know how else to do it. Um, actually, what someone suggested is a good idea. God damn it, dude. All this ore. Just put it back in the train. Um, uh, what I could do... Lasers to help kill all the things. I don't have any power for lasers. Um, I'm just going to make like it would work, right? To just do the two-lane split-off that I use on a main bus, wouldn't it? Like someone suggested. I think that would actually just work better. If I just do that. See, now would be a good time for robots. You're welcome. Yeah, that was a good idea. It's probably just the easiest method, honestly. Except this doesn't actually work. Because this is not a balancer. That's the problem. This It's not an actual balancer, though. Because what I want is... I don't know. Maybe it will work. So we'll find out. I don't want four lanes out this way. I only want three. Alright, Can has a blueprint for me. Oh, Jesus, Lord. Gotta be kidding me, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. That's what? An eight to eight? Whew. I'll keep it. I might need it later. In fact, did I just lose it? Where did it put it? Oh. Um, but... <laughs> I'm gonna go with this for now. That is a little bit bigger than I want to build at the moment. Sweet, so that's done. I mean, this seems to actually work. This is pretty much fine, I think. Gets the order where it needs to go. I think it still keeps it balanced. One belt to each first splitter. Good enough as is, not worth spending time in something we'll build, rebuild in a few hours anyway. Very good point. And hey, Mojo, how's it going? That is a... I haven't seen you around in a while. It's a good point, yeah. It's not really worth building a huge thing. I'm going to be getting rid of in the near future anyway. Um, okay, so. There's that. Um, I discharge defense. Uh, yeah, right. Oh, stack inserter bonus would be good. Hey, Shadding Turk, how's it going? Oh, I have an oil build and blueprint book you might want to try. Oh, geez. What have you come up with, Mojo? Not sure I'm ready for it. I had a blueprint book of belt balancers that would help tremendously. Actually, I think I have a blueprint book of that, too. They just didn't really work for what I wanted.
Blame Colonel for the wheels, his idea. So it would be far better if you unloaded from both sides of the train and then use an eight lane balancer and only use six of the outputs. Yeah, but that's way more expensive and I'm gonna be tearing it all down anyway. So it's just a waste of my time. I'll be back. Um... Okay, also, uh, thank you, uh, Fashionoth, for the follow. Welcome. Time to work on the next task, uh, which in my case is probably eating and getting a little bit of rest before tonight's recordings. Alright, Exterminator and chat, I have to run. It was nice catching a live stream. Yeah, it was nice having you, Max. I'm glad you could stop by. Uh, have a good one. I'm probably gonna head off in just a minute anyways, because it's actually about quitting time... And I also really don't feel well. Uh, and we got done what we needed to get done. We got the copper going. We need to finish defending it. But surprisingly, there hasn't been any attacks now that I've actually set it up. We got our bus finished. Well, the four lanes at least. Got the smelters done. Fixed the steel. Um, science is chugging along. Exterminator, you should do the ore splitting correctly since you're going to be doing a 10-hour module grind soon. Yeah, that ain't... no. Nope. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I ain't doing a freaking 10-hour module grind. Screw it. Chain blueprints coming soon. June, hopefully. Hell yeah. I'm not going through the module grind again. Finding an alternative. Time to feed a link to Nightbot. What is this, Mojo? Is this the oil? Let's take a look at this. Snare, when do you plan to work on rails and getting them connected? Um, probably within the next couple episodes. I want to get uh, high-tech science finished, which is probably what I'll do tonight. 22 hours. It's not going very fast. It's, uh, but I think for single player that's reasonable. It takes a hell of a lot longer in single player to do stuff. Man. I, uh, too used to multiplayer. It's oil. So, I don't get it. You're only on barreling oil. Oh wait, no, you're unbarreling other stuff, I just can't see it. Isn't, that's pretty much like the build me and Will built on the series, isn't it, Mojo? It looks a little more compact, potentially. Do the beacons have modules? Oh, there's just actually just tons of parts to it. Uh, your stuff is using cheaty stuff, by the way, just quick. Um, so, these two aren't going to work because they use cheaty buildings. Um, but, wow. Very nice. You have, like, every component. Um, so that's for something. Lube. That's for oil. Crude oil. That's for acid. Very nice. Plastic. Plastic build is a beast. Is yours just compact and no water barreling direct water from a short line? That's probably a better way to do it anyway. 
Oh, really? Is that really what happens? I didn't realize that. Very interesting. Um, Exterminator, when you get a chance, check out the image I sent in Discord. Yes. Nice, Demi. So Demi Pixel, if you don't know, he made the Autotorio website, which allows you to like automate outpost building pretty much. Um, he's now included an option to include RoboPorts. So hyped, dude. That is awesome. Wow, very cool. I'll have to play around with that. I'm a little too out of it right now to do that. <laughs> um, but really nice. That's awesome. That'll make it pretty much complete, I think. That was like the that and the radar, and you already added the radar, I think, was the only thing that I thought it was missing. Oh yeah, I forgot it's only half beaconed. Why is it only half beacon, Mojo? Um, research. Yeah, research would probably be good. Did I get cold? I'll be back. No. Let's do that. You idiot robots. Yeah, I want to get high tech science done so we can actually get like a whatchamadoobie. Because that makes sense, you know. Um, a fusion reactor, because I can make normal power armor. And then you can actually do some decent bot work if you have a fusion reactor. Plastic build half beacon so it's less efficient. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, but this seems to be supporting things pretty well. The circuits may need an upgrade. Still really surprised this is even still holding holding with us here. But, uh, everything seems to be good. I can actually expand this now, now that I actually have resources. <laughs> I can expand this properly, because we need way more blues than that. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to grab what I need for some power armor. Grab some electric engines. We can make it at least. Throw it on. It's a little more durability and such. Uh, electric engines. This is one thing I like about the new science. That they've kind of... I think they achieved their goal mostly in this regard. Is that everything... A lot of things you need are already automated. Because of the science. Like the electric engines and all that. I can literally just run over to science and get it. So we're gonna fix the acid loop. Okay, seriously, that's the last thing, because I'm about to, like, fall over. I don't know what the hell was in that food I ate, but I feel like shit. <laughs> uh, okay, let's oh, just kill this, yeah. uh, this metal pipe right here. And that should fix it. There we go. I know it's more pipe, probably, than just going like this, but I like this way better. We need to convert exterminated to one to one green circuit ways. One-to-one -one green circuits without modules is a terrible idea, in my opinion, but... I'll be back. Why not just feed the S from the left? Because I like this better. That's why. <laughs> um, one leg. Chris, thanks for the follow. And uh, thank you very much for the donation. I really appreciate it. YouTube videos made my factory experience a hundred times better. Thank you. No, thank you. I uh, I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. And uh, Mr. Clunkers as well. Thank you for the follow. Okay, so that's fixed. And this thing is out of acid. You were correct. Uh, still has 950 in. Um, I could go grab a couple more barrels, but I need to go. It's Factorio. Man, can't ever stop. Need power. Do I need power? Probably. Yep. I'll be back. So, so that's what we're going to do first of next episode. Is add power and then work on high tech. All that pipe can be removed if you put the umbrella on the left. Yeah, I might do that. Oh, I've been watching your content on YouTube for a while now. First time I caught you on Twitch. 
Well, nice. I'm glad you managed to catch a stream. And, uh, yeah, thank you again. Uh, it's, it's great you enjoy the content because it's a pleasure making it. Um, Tichio, thanks for the follow. I don't know if I already said that. Like I said, I'm going crazy right now. Um, so I'm going to have to call it here, guys. I, uh, for the next episode, episode 21, will be out this evening at normal time and then one tomorrow morning. I know I missed this morning's and Friday morning's episodes. It was kind of partly due to real life circumstances, but also to give people time to catch up because I'd read that quite a few people were like really far behind. Um, so hopefully that gave a little bit of time for people to catch up, be back to two a day. Um, so one tonight and then two tomorrow, so on and so forth. Um, spin tires as well will be going up probably one tomorrow. And uh, yeah. Night Goof Paul. All right, see ya, Disco. Adding more powers is definitely something you want to put in an episode. Yep, for sure. Um, thank you, Texan. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for all the follows, the support, the great chat, and uh, the contribution, the donations as well. Very much appreciated. You guys are awesome. Um... I'm going to go get a little rest, maybe watch a movie and have some dinner and then record tonight's episode. I should feel better by then. And uh, later, nerds. <laughs> Take care, guys. Have a great rest of the day or evening, and I will, uh, I will see you next time.